Four days after the Bloody Sunday raids in the Calabarzon region, the families of four activists killed are finally allowed to claim their loved ones' remains Thursday, March 11. The bodies of Melvin Da Sigal, Mark Lee Bacasno, and Randy and Puroy De La Cruz have been in the funeral home since Sunday, March 7. In a video posted by Karapatan Timo Katagalugan, the bodies are loaded into vehicles outside the funeral home at around 8 p.m. Thursday. Since Sunday until Thursday night, the families negotiated with the police, military, and the funeral home to claim the bodies of their loved ones. Rodriguez police earlier said they were only requiring clearance to make sure that the claimants were legitimate family members. The four activists were killed during a police crackdown in Calabar. Barzon, resulting in the death of five other activists and the arrest of six others. Meantime, a document shows Police Intelligence Chief Fernando Calabria Jr. of Calbayog City in Samar asked the local court for a list of lawyers representing alleged communists. In a letter to the Calbayog City Regional Trial Court Friday, March 12, Calabria is asking for the list in compliance from higher PNP offices. The Supreme Court confirms the Calbayog RTC received the letter on Friday, but they haven't taken action yet. National Union of People's Lawyers President Edre Olalia says if the request is granted, it will enable the attacks against human rights lawyers.